Potter's Journal, winter 2022. Everything is still all glazed over with ice. Winter is becoming routine. Okay, let's see what's going on in the studio today. So winter is becoming routine as is studio work since I shut down twice a year. Okay, it's always hard to get started and routine. <laughs> okay, always looks best when you've got a barn of pots on your shoulder. Okay, and you don't drop them. And hopefully out of routine of the mundane and the perfunctory, we can develop momentum and a progression and a flow. And more of a potter's journal than a how-to. I guess it's called a blog. Okay, we will look at how to make a large wavy bowl. This one was nine pounds. Okay, take a look at how to do that. And we will do it without even going near a potter's wheel. And it's really developed out of studio routine and always having two or three projects lined up to get going on at any one time. And February 3rd, I got started off with seven one-pound bowls and four two-pound bowls. Um, and then I guess, you know, I wasn't ready to jump into the next size. Maybe it looks like about the sixth. I went to little olive bowls. Um, hopefully these will be sold. I've got a request for it. What did we do then? Um, looks like then we jumped to the tenth and did sponge holders. Um, oh, and I missed here on the 6th. Um, it looks like that's when I did, and I started to go down in the numbers, only four of the four-pound bowls. And would this be more impressive if they were on my shoulder? Um, well, some of these small ones are already bisked. Some of them are in the kiln today. So we won't be able to do that. Let's see what else is in the sketchbook. I don't know if it wasn't all plotted out in the sketchbook and always clay for a next project. I don't know that I could have jumped in from the third to the sixth to the tenth and finally finishing up on the eleventh if I didn't have things like, okay, little teeny olive oil grater plates, one ounce of clay also ready to throw in so that when I didn't feel like working hard big project on February 8th I had something else to go with so able to jump back and forth from one project to the next on what you felt like that day um you know this really too would have been the time for me to demo the large bowls it went really well um, but I've done all the different sizes and decorating them before even um, once for a, um, oh, the, the uh, empty soup bowl um, 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 thing, um, fundraiser thing. But, um, <laughs> yeah, um, I think it's more important to do it. And I think the progression was important way for somebody to get about it. Um, if you watch different videos, somebody will say you open it up with your thumbs and somebody will say you go like that with both hands. Well, at one point I had one hand on the top and I was pulling up like that. So I think the important thing is, okay, line up the lumps of clay, do it in your studio and figure out what comes natural for you. <laughs> now, where were we? Did we do the 10th? Um, we were down to three at the six pound and on the 11th, I probably could have done bigger than nine pounds. And it would have been great to see these all at once, but some of them are in the kiln right now. Some of them are bisked, waiting to be waxed. Um, there was a progression, and oddly enough, they got bigger, uh, better, as the progression went along. The little one, I actually had a fix with a tennis ball, 
that the dog played with. So we've got dog hairs stuck in there. The next size up, I don't know. The waves just don't have much of a wave. Then they really started to get a good wave and they started to develop even a different character on the last two sizes there. So a progression. Okay, out of studio routine where we work big bowls in with the simple and the mundane. So it helps me having it all plotted out. If I didn't have other projects to fall back on, I don't know that anything would have happened. So a huge sense of satisfaction. I could have made, should have made bigger ones, but instead rewarded myself with these little olive toothpick things that are relatively easy and cut right off a bat. So a huge sense of satisfaction, um, first with the large wavy bowls, but with, okay, the last one being pot number 251. I have made as many pots as I made in all of last year, but the satisfaction, okay, comes to a sudden end when I open the door, walk into the next part of the studio and realize we've got to get the part, next part of this process going. I have got to start glazing and firing. Okay. Oh, and those big things are a challenge. I have a very bad video on how I did it. It's a real struggle. Okay, but maybe entertaining. And if my routine has taught me anything, it may be not to get overly anxious, okay, about glazing and uh, waxing and getting these large pieces going. This is another part of the process. I need to step back again, start small, do some more repetitive work, and not forget to bring in more of the creative process. And what happened to those rogues? I just hope the wind doesn't pick up or we'll hear the shard bucket sound. And maybe, oh no, we'll get the power out again. All glazed over, if only. I could get the glazes to work magic like this for me. Okay, stop back and see. What's going on in the studio next week?